Taxes might not be the first place people think of when it comes to child labor, but in the years before World War I, it was common across the Lone Star State to see boys as young as four selling newspapers, some starting their day at 4 a.m. and foregoing school altogether in order to earn 30 to 90 cents a day. When they got older, such as 10 or 11, some moved on to be bike messengers for telegram companies or drugstores, sometimes working past midnight. Frequent jobs also included running messages between prostitutes in the reservation, Houston's designated red light district, and their clients in town. While newsies commonly made less than a dollar a day, some of the bicycle messengers made as much as 15 to 18 dollars a week. Sociologist and photographer Lewis Wicks Hine traveled to Texas in 1913, taking photos of the boys and writing of their exposure to vice. Some stories told of working brothers whose mothers were cocaine addicts and would no longer care for the children. Backed by East Coast patronage, his images became a powerful tool for reform. In Houston, schools started special night classes just for the newsboys, and Ferdy Trichel, the Houston Police Department's first juvenile probation officer, started a home for the newsboys named after her mother, Emma. As for Hine, his muckraking style of photography fell out of fashion, and he died on welfare in 1940. On the west side of the San Bernard River in southern Brazoria County sits remnants of the plantation that Georgia-born Levi Jordan built in the mid-19th century. Using imported pine lumber and bricks and wood trim fashioned by his slaves. But perhaps the most interesting thing about the site is what lies toward the back of the property. After emancipation, most of the Jordan slaves remained as sharecroppers, some living in the same brick quarters they had occupied while enslaved. Though the details of the story may be lost to history, there is no doubt that Brazoria County was not a friendly place for African Americans during Reconstruction and the years that followed. There seems to have been particular bad blood between one of Levi Jordan's heirs and some of the tenants, leading to the hasty abandonment of the former slave quarters in the mid-1880s. Those buildings, located in woods behind the main house, would remain undisturbed for over a hundred years, with the padlocks on the doors outlasting the buildings that rotted around them. What was left was a veritable time capsule for archaeologists. By the start of the 21st century, a series of digs had unearthed one of the greatest collection of African-American artifacts in the South, daily utensils and personal items, including many filled with African symbolism, were found at the site of the vacated cabins. Today, the Texas Historical Commission is preparing that site to offer a uniquely rich look into Texas history. Austin has as a vanguard a young lawyer from San Felipe named William Barrett Travis. He shouts, charge, and the cavalry pursues the retreating centralist. That retreat becomes a rout. James Bowie's the sort of man who should have become an American folk hero. I've always joked only half in jest that had he not been sick at the Alamo, Santa Ana would still be trying to get in today. Joe, Travis's slave, said that they came over like sheep. Sheep move almost as one when they're jumping over an obstacle. It, it's, it's a sight to behold how they just move as a mass, and that's how Joe described it. So it wasn't onesies and twosies jumping over the wall, it was a horde. I think what a lot of people want to know is, in a nutshell, how Davy Crockett died. Because you've got two versions. One is that he died in mortal combat. Uh, one is that he and others were captured and executed. They thrust themselves forward, and in order to flatter their commander, and with swords in hand, fell upon these unfortunate defenseless men just as a tiger leaps on his prey. Jose Enrique de la Peña. You can find the word shrine in people's letters. They'll write, I had to go where 
Jim Bowie was murdered, where Davy Crockett was murdered.